You can't set the bar too high. It's impossible to find a manager that is 100%. Welcome to Architecture Corner. Today we have the guest Pia Wingestråle, who is a management consultant. And we will talk about how you can influence the leadership in your organization. Yeah, that's right. Welcome, Pia. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, you have written uh, several books about leadership and management, but the question, how can I as an employee in an organization be part of that change? How can I influence the manager? Yeah. Uh, first, I have uh, written uh, books before about leadership and management, uh, but my recent book is about how you can uh, influence the management or the leadership when you are an employee. And I, I find that a very interesting question because normally we believe that it's not possible to influence the, the leadership. The leadership is something that your manager does. But I, I believe that that isn't the, the complete truth because the truth is that uh, the leadership is like a dance between the manager and the employee. We are, we are affected by the leadership all the time when we are at work. And I see it like it's like a communication, it's like a, a, a way to, to handle every situation at work. And that, that's where the leadership is. And I believe that it's um, possible as an employee to, to handle the leadership and to create an environment that is good for yourself at work and then you influence the uh, management and the leadership. Is this something new that has been coming up lately or have you seen this possibility to influence as an employee for a long time? Yeah, it has always been there actually, but for me uh, it was first after I wrote my the other book that I realized that a leadership book is not enough because the manager is not the only person that creates the leadership. There is also an employee or several employees that affects the situation. It's, it's very important to see that picture that there are two sides of this coin called leadership. It's two parts. In the best of worlds, you have a good manager and you can work together with him. Yeah. But if this is a manager who do doesn't have that ability, mm. what can you do then? Mm. I think you uh, have a lot of options actually. And uh, I, I normally tell you that the first thing you should do is to ask yourself, is this a real problem? You can't set the bar too high it's impossible to find a manager that is 100%. It doesn't exist. So you have to be reasonable uh, when you are an employee. You have to, to find your way with a management or a leadership that isn't 100% and you have to accept that. But if you find the, the, uh, the, the leadership is really bad and you don't connect to the manager and you have a really bad situation at work, then there are different things you can do. And you can start out with looking at the situation that your manager has. Uh, what is the situation? There might be um, answers to find if your manager just divorced or just lost a relative uh, in an accident. There might be a, a very good reason for the leadership to be really bad. And then you have to be patient and wait until things settle and you might even help the manager to to achieve a better situation and to lead. So that's that's very important. So if you find a, a solution or a, a reason why, then you have to, uh, to handle that situation. But if there is no reason and you, you, you know this is really only bad management and bad leadership, then you have to act. I believe, I suggest that you act. And 
you can make different things. How do you do then? I think it's important to first ask yourself what is most important to me in my uh, work situation. And if you look at your entire situation, you will find special things that these are crucial. And then you have to write them down and find a reasonable way to handle them. That's the first thing. And when you have written everything down, you can make an appointment to your manager and sit down and take a discussion. Just tell him or her, I need to work in this way. This is how I like to work. Is it possible to change it until a situation that I like and that I really know works well for me? And that's the, the way to go. But if you have a manager who doesn't have this understanding, mm, that can be the yeah, case also. Yeah, sure. It might happen. And sometimes if you have colleagues and you are a lot of people uh, that are surrounded by the leadership that doesn't work so well, you might take a discussion with your colleagues and you might discuss it with a manager uh, in a, in a, on a meeting or on another occasion when it's uh, appropriate to, to take a discussion. To change the behavior of a manager yeah. or to change how the organization works, yeah. is this something that, that could happen overnight or is it a long process? Mm, yeah, that's very important uh, what you're talking about now. It's really important to know that uh, when you take a, a discussion with your manager, it's very easy to give up because you, you tell this is how I'd like to work and you, you try to make your manager to see your point. But in fact, it's not likely that when you tell him or her the first time that he or she will change the situation. It is very rare that the situation changes when you talk to a person the first time. So it's very important to be aware that you have several steps. The first time you talk to a manager, you normally would get, well, well, I don't have the time at the moment. Well, we can discuss it later. But when you tell it again, your manager might, ah, yeah, yeah you, you mentioned that before. Then he recognizes this and he might be able to consider what you're talking about. So to be aware that it takes some steps. In my second book, I talk about five steps in order to reach the goal that uh, a change really occurs. So it's very important to be aware that it could take a lot of time before you get um, through. Could it be that it's not only that the manager needs to change his behavior, but yeah. the organization yeah. needs to change the incentives for the manager yeah. in order for him? Yeah. Uh, yes, that, that could be, but I believe that uh, as a manager you always have a responsibility. Uh, even if the organization around you isn't crystal clear about the thing, as a manager you can handle situations in a good way. So I think you have a, a choice as a manager. Do you want to <clears throat> just um, follow the orders within the organization or do you want to create the good leadership towards your employees. And there might be a difference between this, yes, but that is your challenge as manager. If you are an employee and you are a situation that you're talking with a manager, uh, it doesn't happen so much, it goes months, mm. half a year, yeah. after a year, you yeah. will probably get very frustrated. Yeah. What's your advice then? Yeah. I mean, there are different solutions. Of course, you can try to change things. That is the first solution. Uh, but if it doesn't work, I think you can just learn how to cope with the situation because you could learn to accept and you could learn to, to handle things your way and to feel okay anyway, even if the situation isn't what you really would like it to be, you could learn how to cope and to handle things. And the third one is really, if you really are 
uh, not content and you feel really stuck, then you might consider changing uh, to another work uh, place to, to um, apply for another job. Yeah. And that yeah. is both in the organization or outside the organization? Yeah, of course, of course. It could be enough to change to a different department. So um, it doesn't need to be uh, a huge change. It could just be to, to a different department to get another manager. My understanding is that if you are not satisfied with your situation at work, you have a, a responsibility yourself to see how yeah. can you improve it. Yeah. This is what I'm talking in my book. It's so important to know that you are not a victim of a bad management or a bad leadership or a bad situation. You can run your own not life and you are in command. You can really do things if you like to. You have a choice. When you feel uh, good, you like what you do and then you really do a very good job. Uh, and that's the point in my book, to, to create effective organizations and to create good results. And you do that when you have employers that really enjoy what they do. Thank you very much, Pia. It's been really nice to hear how you can make the situation at your workplace better and how you can influence your organization. And uh, welcome back. Thank you very much for having me. Very nice to be here. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Architecture Corner. See you again next week.